Let's welcome Marcus John Henry Brown. Can you hear us, Marcus? I can indeed. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. And the virtual floor is yours, Marcus. Thank you very much. Then I shall begin. No, 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 no. No, thank you, Marcus. No, no, thank you for that very unusual presentation. Yes, I, I've made some notes. Because there are some things about this corporate art, artist idea that, that I feel I have to challenge, OK? Some, yeah, I printed it off. Yeah, just, just some observations. But, but before I go through my notes, um, I'd really like to ask just one simple question. Have you lost your mind? Seriously? Serious, do you expect me to take this proposal to Helsinki on the 31st of May and present it to the board? Corporate artists? Well, we, we, well we're going to be walking around wearing berets and smoking French cigarettes or pipes and painting naked people all day. Corporate? No, Marcus, you're absolutely right. I, 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 I think I don't understand it. Not one tiny little bit. Marcus, Marcus, this is a business. It's not a gallery. It's a company, not some kind of hippie commune. Hmm? Well, that's because he works in the marketing department. And we shouldn't encourage him with any of this art stuff. Last time he had a creative idea, the CEO ended up doing a recruitment rap on TikTok. We know that went viral for all of the wrong reasons. No, 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 no. No, listen, help, help me understand this, will you? Can you take me to, take me to the, yeah, the five things to remember. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. Every employee is a potential corporate artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What on earth does any of that mean? Look, I get that this is some kind of training pro hmm? methodology sorry no marcus for me this is just a training program but and, and sarah handles that sarah is sarah on this call Sa hello sarah yeah yeah no listen marcus sarah has an entire rolodex full of event agencies and mentors and consultants and they all they all tick all of the training boxes well what do you mean they're not working well i don't care if our people are unhappy now you've made Sarah unhappy. Look, if our people are unhappy, we send them off to Barcelona. Group hug, some team building cooking with a two star chef, some agile brainstorming scrum session stuff, right? Right, Sarah? Yeah. But, yeah, all right. But frankly, I don't know where to start with your proposal. It's making me unhappy. But can we, can we, I don't, can we just, get, can you show us the, the, this slide again, the art factory slide? Yeah, that one, that's the one, yeah. So the corporate artist studio is the way of finding radically creative artists in an ever-changing world. Hmm? And you want a studio in the company to find radically creative answers. Radically creative answers to what? Oh, the challenges that we face. You mean like running a company, keeping the board happy, keeping the, the shareholders happy, keeping our unhappy employees happy. I don't, I, do, I generally don't understand how any of this painting picture stuff is gonna, is gonna help pay the bills. Hmm? Oh, it's not a job. Okay, well, well, show us that one then. Yeah, it's not a job. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It's a toolkit because we need to think different and work like an artist because our thinking is stuck. We're in thinking jail. It's a crisis. It's a crisis. Wait, that's what you're saying. It's a crisis. A talent crisis. Okay, look. We're running, running out of time here. Can you um, just, uh, we need to pick this apart a bit. So yeah, show, me, show, show us this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we need to relearn that we were once creative geniuses, do we? Look, and I'm quoting you here, I'm quoting you here, that we pour stat scores and PISA rules into the curiosity cogs of our poor children until all that's left is someone that on paper at least is a functioning and certified KPI machine. 
Good. That's our job. Hitting KPIs is our job, Marcus. And they're not stupid either. Got an MBA and so does Sarah. No, 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 no. There's, there's, there's just so much of this proposal here that just makes me so unhappy. Look at uh, this one. Can you, can you just show us this one again? Show us this. Yeah, there we go. The, the, you're seriously suggesting that the incu that incubation or procrastination is to be actively encouraged. The good ideas come quicker when you, and I'm quoting you again here, that you do something instead of the thing that you're supposed to be doing. Are you out of your mind? Do you have any idea what will happen if we tell our, tell our people to do that? Listen, we pay our people to do the thing they're supposed to do when we tell them to do it. We don't pay them to, to, to go for a walk. And that reminds me, uh, show me that, show me the, um, yeah, the, 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 the factory slide. That one, yeah, down in the right hand corner. A creative walk. Just, Marcus, just what the hell is a creative walk? Okay, listen, I get that you want to do some kind of Warholian factory where we all come together and learn, learn to be creative. Or what, but what is a creative walk? It's a walk with a creative mentor because Steve Jobs did it and Albert Einstein did it and Richard Branson does it. Well, Marcus, so did the bloody bangles, but, but they're not going to hit our sales targets this year, are they? Huh? What is a corporate? What what is a corporate artist anyway? I mean, who are these people? Are they even on our payroll? The corporate artist uses art practice to create remarkable ideas. They are masters of idea incubation, documentation, creative thinking. They use corporate artists' processes to find radically creative. Blah 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 blah. Do they make us? Marcus, do they make us any money? Talent crisis, radically creative crisis. Now, to top it all, to top it all, it's supposed to be our responsibility too. Huh? Creative accountability. Well, I don't know about the other people in this call, Marcus, but I think it's your responsibility. Well, you know what really makes me upset? The, the thing that gets me really, really cross about this entire idea, it's, it's not the fact that you think we're stupid. Well, I'm sorry, you did say that. And it's not the fact that you say that Sarah in HR is making our people unhappy. Well, you did kind of say that too. It's the fact that you accused Klaus Maria in controlling of sabotaging the business. Well, you did. I'm sorry, you did. Look, have a look at that. There we go. There it is. Black on white, corporate artist, corporate saboteur. I mean, just look at the things you're accusing Klaus Maria of doing working slowly and poorly and blaming it on bad tools and no and i know where you got that off of i know you got that off of linkedin that's fort leadership poppycock and i'm having none of it simple sabotage field manual okay well you nicked that off of business insider too no listen none of this is true okay and I think it's a little rich coming from you as an external consultant to be coming in here with your modern artsy fartsy metropolitan ways and think that you can just make everything better with a little bit of art. Mentor struggling colleagues indeed. Listen, there's no struggle here, Marcus. Mm -mm. Just good old fashioned hustle. Mm -hmm. Angerson. It's absolute cheek to suggest that, that we need help finding better ideas. Well, I, for one, and I don't think anybody else on this call will be presenting this to the board. Hmm? Listen, I wouldn't even dream of thinking. Talking of dreaming, look, show us the, that last question here. If you ask the impossible of your people, why don't you give them permission to dream? Do we really ask the impossible of our people, Marcus? Is asking them to hit their targets, drive down cost, develop innovative, market-shaking, cutting-edge products and services that not, are not only sustainable, but are purposeful, diverse, inclusive, but also ruthlessly successful. Is that the impossible? Is asking them to do that day in, day out, week after week, quarter for quarter, is that asking for the impossible? Hmm? 
mental health. Marcus, tell me about Van Gogh and mental health. How how did how did the art stuff and his mental health work out for him? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think we've wasted enough time with this nonsense. Quite uh, well. I'm not presenting it. I'm absolutely not presenting it. So, so uh, let's move on to the next agenda point. Uh, Marcus, you can hop off this call. We don't need you anymore. No, no. Thank you. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you. Whew. Hey, guys. So, uh, what is the next point on the agenda? Ah, that strategic meeting in Helsinki on the thirty-first of May. We really are behind on that one, aren't we? Well, has anybody had any ideas? Proposals? Any thoughts? Any ideas? Anyone? Anything? Thank you. Thank you so much, Marcus, for that engaging and creative discussion with Marcus by Marcus. <laughs> very uh, lovely format and thank you very much and i'll remind everyone that we are open for questions and we'd love to receive your questions for our speakers even our jury members even our jury members can ask us questions so please if you have any comments or questions i'll be looking out for them uh but i i'd, I'd love to ask you uh, marcus of, of all the topics that you raised one uh, hit home perhaps it's a personal thing but i think many of us uh, don't really understand the correlation uh, not necessarily with between creativity and productivity but the the relationship between procrastination and productivity could you tell us give us a bit of insight what is that link? Yeah. It seems so no, non-intuitive, as it were. Yeah, well, it, it, I asked the question um, while, I was, while I was talking to myself, um, where do you have your best ideas? And most of the ideas that I have tend to come either when I'm walking or on the toilet or in the shower. And those ideas pop up there in that minute, in those moments, because they are thoughts and ideas that have been mulling around in, in my head for, for weeks and weeks and, and months and months. So um, the productivity part with the, with the procrastination is that these ideas are constantly overlapping. So we're, I believe that we're working on a, a thousand ideas all at the same time. And you can only really do that if you're just pumping lots of interesting stuff into your head all of the time and you have to go looking for it which is part of the, the artist's toolkit of going out and actually actively looking at interesting things to take photographs of, writing new things down in a book every single day, and just practicing um, thinking again. So uh, it's, it's, it's not actually procrastinating in a way, it's just shifting the focus away from actually having to have to, the idea at the moment when somebody asks you. Although that distance can, shorten I mean, you can you can expedite that the distance between yeah. being asked to have the idea mm. and having mm. the idea marcus thank you so much for all of those insights and for that very engaging presentation